Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Beyond the Mask. Today, I have so much Beetlejuice 2 details, set pictures and more to discuss with you guys. Last week, some images emerged of the Beetlejuice 2 set as it was being constructed and I promised I'd keep you all updated. Well, now it appears the set is completed and they have officially begun filming. So in this video today, we have set photos, images of General Ortega and some plot points. Yes, you heard me right. We have some plot details about Beetlejuice 2. So let's take a deep dive into the fully constructed set. One of the things that is now apparent, which may just make this movie even more fantastic. Yes, this movie is set at Halloween time. It's perfect. It's so Tim Burton, honestly, I just can't wait. These photos really do highlight just how far less the entire set has been made to look. This particular photo is of Tim Burton himself on the set of the movie. We also have this shot of the church, which, I mean, just look at this Halloween theme. It looks fantastic. We have a picture of a storefront. This looks to me like a pet store and I love it. I think it looks great. There's a whole pumpkin patch thing going on outside of the fire station, which looks super awesome. This shot of the Dietz house just, I could look at this all day. It looks incredible. Very gothic, very Lydia Dietz. I don't know if you guys feel that whilst looking at this, but it feels very Lydia-like. There's Easter eggs littered throughout the set. This particular shot shows a Jack Skellington pumpkin in a store front window and I am loving the callbacks to Tim Burton's previous works. I hope we see more of those in the movie. We will get a couple more clear shots of the village in some of these leaked set videos. Take a look. We have Jenna Ortega cycling through the town as she heads somewhere. Her outfit is just so Beetlejuice isn't it? I mean she literally fits into this world so well and I personally love that. A couple more shots show us a closer shot of Jenna. The whole setup here looks great. I'm so pleased we're getting more of the town this time round. It only really featured in the original movie in the opening when Adam and Barbara died. And now we have clear evidence that the Maitland hardware store has been turned into a coffee shop. You can see that in this particular image. So now let's reveal some production details about the movie which will be accompanied by more set photos. So it appears that in these other set photos featuring Jenna Ortega and Winona Ryder, that Jenna's character is marrying a man who is played by Philippe Cates. So you can see Jenna linking him in this shot while sporting her wedding dress. We also have Lydia Dietz played by Winona Ryder as she attends the wedding. Interesting. Another thing I just want to comment on is that someone who is currently working on the movie has stated that this movie, Beetlejuice 2, is apparently one of Tim Burton's best scripts in years. And I know a lot of people have been disappointed by his more recent adaptions, and I do get it, but it's been declared one of his best scripts, so time will tell how good this movie is, but I am very excited to see it. Details on the plot are super slim right now, but the moment we do get more, I will be sure to keep you guys updated. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and don't forget to like and share and be sure to subscribe for more Beetlejuice 2 updates and I will see you guys in the next video.